Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. I'm Jenny Civy, and today we're going to follow up on last week's pressure overview with what's the difference between pressure dependent and pressure independent VAV boxes. Pressure dependence and pressure independence has to do with how airflow through a VAV box reacts to changes in pressures in the system. As the name implies, the amount of airflow you get in a pressure dependent box depends on how much pressure you have. So what does this mean exactly? So let's scoot this out of the way real quick. Let's talk about the plumbing in your house for a minute. Imagine what happens if someone is in the shower and you turn on the washing machine. In most houses, the water pressure in the shower drops because the washer is using water too. As you turn on more water sources, say the sprinklers and the dishwasher, the pressure available to each source gets lower and lower. The plumbing in your house is pressure dependent. Pressure dependent VAV boxes in an HVAC system work in a similar way. So let's go back to the conference room example from our first podcast. If the conference room goes from empty to full, it'll suddenly need a lot more air and the damper in the conference room box will open. In a pressure dependent system, if there are other offices on the same ductwork, let's draw the ductwork and some boxes in, what happens in there? Well, if the airflow in the conference room goes up, then the airflow in the two offices will go down because they are pressure dependent. If we graph airflow versus pressure in a pressure dependent system, it'll look something like this, where for any specific damper position, as the pressure increases, so does the airflow. So if the damper is in a starting position, we'll call it position one, the airflow will go up and down if the pressure changes. If you need to change the damper position to let in more air, say, it'll still float up and down based on pressure changes in the system. Okay, so now let's look at pressure independence. In a pressure independent VAV box, the airflow volume is independent of the changes in pressure. So how does this work? Pressure independent VAV boxes have flow sensors that measure the pressure in the box and send this information to a controller. Now using the equations we covered in the last podcast on pressure basics, the controller can calculate the airflow and control the damper to adjust for changes in pressure in the system. Now let's graph the airflow in a pressure independent system. It would look something like this, where the CFM stays the same as the pressure changes. And the CFM would basically change only when you went from one set point condition to another set point condition. So basically the key difference between a pressure dependent and pressure independent VAV box is the flow sensor and the controller. And that's the difference between pressure dependent and pressure independent. Thanks for taking a time out with us.